All right, on these types of problems, there are a number of correct ways to do the problem. I'm going to show you one possible way, but you may have another way that also works, which is totally fine. There are lots of ways to find it. You could break this up into sections. Um, you could find the area of the entire circle and then subtract the area of this segment and this segment like I'm going to do. Or you could section it off like this and use our trigonometry to find the area of each of these triangles and then find the area of this part of the circle and add them all together. It's totally up to you. I'm going to show you one way to do this. Um, first we need to talk about what these little pieces on the outside of a circle are called. When you have a circle and there's a chord, like so, and you cut a sector out, okay, notice that we have our full sector, which is the ice cream cone and the ice cream on top. Then we have the triangle, which would just be the shape of the cone, and then you could also just have the ice cream. Okay, This part cut off by the cord is called a segment of a circle. Okay, And there is a formula for the area of just the segment of the circle. The formula for that is one half radius squared times theta minus sine theta and theta does need to be in radian measure. Okay, So there are other ways to do this but there's several questions that are easier to do using the segment of a circle so I'm going to do this one using the segment of a circle to give you some practice. So my plan here is to find the area of the entire circle and then find the area of this segment created by the chord length 5 find the area of this segment created by the chord length 7 and subtract these from the, the full area of the circle and that will give me my area. Like I said, there are other correct ways to do this. This is just one way that I chose. Okay, So let's go ahead and we'll get started. Well, in order to do find the area of the segment, I need to know the area or the angle measure that I have here and the angle measure that I have here. I'll call my angles theta and beta. Let's start by trying to find theta. We've formed this triangle here and again remember since the radius is 4 the length of any line from the center to the edge of circle will be 4. So this will be length 4 and this will also be length 4. Okay. Using the law of cosines I can find the measure of my angle theta or using that shortcut that they described in your text, which just basically solves the equation for the law of cosines. Okay, but here is what the law of cosines would ask me to do. Okay, so I have that side across from my angle 5 squared equals 4 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 times 4 times 4. I have 25 equals 16 plus 16 minus 32 cosine theta. Okay, I'm going to get cosine by itself, so I'm going to subtract the 16s and divide by negative 32. Okay, that leaves me with negative 7 divided by negative 32 is equal to the cosine of theta. Uh, negative divided by negative becomes positive. So my theta is going to be equal to the inverse cosine of 7 over 32 because to remove that cosine, remember we take the inverse cosine of both sides. All right, so let's find our theta. When we do the inverse cosine, and we make sure your calculator is in radian modes, because remember that all of these formulas we're using are in radians. So you either have to do it in radian mode or convert after you're done. Okay, so our theta is 1.35. So the area of this segment here, I could find by doing 1 half r squared times, here's the formula I'm using for the area of a segment of a circle, theta 1.35 minus the sine of theta. Again, make sure your calculator is in radian mo mode when you calculate this. And the radius of my circle is 4. So I'm going to put a 4 right there. So I have 1 half times 4 squared 
eight times 1.35 minus the sine of 1.35, which I'm going to leave in my calculator, but it's about 0.3742766. Okay, multiply that by my 8. And for the area of that segment, I get an area of about 2.99. Okay, so this segment right here has an area of 2.99. Let's find the area of this segment here. Again, we need to find the measure of that angle beta. We're going to use the law of cosines again. Let me section that part off. Okay, so this time we have 7 squared equals 4 squared or squared, and I apologize for doing it out long, but sometimes people need to see that also. So if you don't need to see that, that's okay. Just don't get mad. <laughs> okay, so I have 49 equals 16 plus 16 minus 32 cosine of that beta that I'm looking for. Subtract our 16s. Divide by negative 32, and I get negative 17 over 32 equals the cosine of beta. I'm going to do the inverse cosine of both sides to get my beta, or the arc cosine, if you prefer to call it that. People use both. Make sure that my negative is hard to see there. That is a negative 17 over 32. So we're doing the cosine, inverse cosine of negative 17 over 32. Again, make sure your calculator is in radian mode when you're doing that. And when you do, you get that beta is about 2.13. Okay, so this angle here is 2.13 radians. I'm going to use it to find the area of this segment. Again, the formula for the area of a segment of a circle is 1 half times the radius squared, and my radius is 4, times my angle, 2.13, minus the sine of that angle, 2.13 radians. Again, your calculator must be in radian mode for this or it's going to really mess you up. Alright, so 4 squared is 16 times a half gives me 8. And then for this section, 2.13 minus the sine of 2.13, I get about 1.28. But again, just leave that whole thing in your calculator and go ahead and go times 8 you should get about 10.26 if we round. So the area of this white segment is, this white section here is 10.26. Now remember our original plan was to find, because we want the area of everything except for those two white spaces in the circle. So we're going to find the area of the entire circle and subtract those two segments that we found. Well, the area of a circle is found by doing pi times the radius squared. Okay, well our radius is 4, so we go 4 squared, 16 times pi. And that gives me about 50.265 for the area of the entire circle. I'm going to now subtract from that my two white sections, which were areas of 2.99 and 10.26. I subtract those from the total. And I come up with a final area of about 37. Now if you used rounding along the way, you'll be off just a little bit, maybe a couple of hundredths or maybe even a tenth or so. But you should be fairly close to 37 with your answer.